What's going on guys? Hi Magic Cards here and today I got another little video and this one is a really cool trick that I stumbled upon on Miss Mag 822's channel. So I'm going to put a link to the original video and tutorial down in the description. But for now, let's get into the performance. So for today's video, the first thing we need to do is we're going to go ahead and we're just going to give it a quick shuffle. Just like that. And the first thing I'm going to do is make three predictions. So I'm going to go through the pack. Uh, we'll put one there. Uh, two and three. So there are my three predictions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three predictions and we're going to go ahead and set them right down and put it underneath of the card box just like that. The next thing we need to do is to have a spectator choose a card. So I'll give the deck a little bit of a cut here. That's fine. Now we need the, we'll cut it down. Now go ahead and tell me when to stop. So I'll ripple down right there. Great. We'll cut it off right here. And there's the first card and the second card for our predictions. Well, their selections. Next, we're going to take my predictions. We're going to flip over the first one, which happens to be the Jack of Spades. So we'll go ahead and see if my predictions are right. We'll snap my fingers. And there we go. So we got one, two, three, four Jacks. And there it is, Jack of Spades. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our one, two, three Jacks, and we'll place the Jack of Spades right over here on the top of the pack, and take a look at our second prediction. We got the four diamonds, and with the snap of my fingers, the four, three Jacks have turned into the four fours. If you guys want to see the tutorial of this, please stick around. So for today's video, the only thing you're really going to need here is the three jacks and the four fours. That's what Miss Mag used in his performance and tutorial. So for today's performance and tutorial, I'm also going to use the same set of cards. So it's easier for you guys to follow along if you wish. Now, the first thing you're going to do is set up the pack of cards uh, accordingly. So you're going to do a black, red, black jack, just like so. And then put a red four directly on top. Now, before I even begin, actually, um, these setups right here are not mandatory, but it looks a lot nicer in the final result when the colors are alternating. So if you want a cleaner looking result, just follow the setup I do. So you're going to take a black, red, black, jack, and then a red four, and put that directly on the top of the pack, just like this. Next, you're going to take the black, red, black, four, and you're going to start placing those in the bottom half of the deck. So we're going to take the first black, put it somewhere towards right here. We'll maybe take the red card, we'll put it right here, and then we'll take the last four and put it right here. Now these three fours are going to be our prediction cards, so we can go ahead and we can square up the pack of cards here. And the first thing you're going to do is give it a riffle shuffle, but maintaining these four cards on the top of the pack. And that's pretty simple, you just shuffle the cards like you would normally, except making sure that you leave a big chunk on the top, if you can see that, so that the four cards do not get disturbed. So next you're gonna do what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna look for your three predictions, not showing the spectators this, because it would be pretty weird if you pulled out three of the same cards. It's not very much of a prediction, is it? So you're gonna pull up pull out your three prediction cards, and you're gonna place them on the top of the pack. And when you're going to say that you have your three prediction cards, you're gonna spread them out just like this and push off two extra cards. So when I'm doing this, I got I got the three extra, I got my three prediction cards. Now obviously I'm not going to flash them, so. I got my, right here I got my three prediction cards. I pushed off two extra cards and I have these three in my right hand. Their focus is here. You have these two cards ready. And then when you come back to square these up, you're going to pick up all five cards at once. So now you have this. They think this is three cards. So all you have to do is take your cards and you're going to put them directly underneath of the box. So they think, it, they can't see the edges of the card to make sure if it's three or more. So next, you should be left with these two cards on the top of the pack, the four of diamonds and the jack, or whatever cards you have. In this case, it doesn't actually matter. Just a red four and a black jack. And you're going to be forcing these two cards on them. So what uh, Miss Mag did in his performance is he did a 190 Helix False Cut, which I have a tutorial on on my channel. But uh, Jay also has a tutorial on his channel, so I'll link both of those also down in the description. And after you do that False Cut, these should maintain on the top you are going to force these two cards to the player, well, player, the uh, spectator. So you're going to go ahead and do a cut, and then hold a break with your thumb back here. This is an exaggerated break. And then you're going to riffle down, and then wherever they say stop, you're going to cut off at that break back here. So if they tell me to stop here, okay, we'll just cut off the cards here, and then those two cards are the ones you're forcing. Now when placing down these cards, you want to be aware of which one the jack is. That's the top card, so that my jack is on the right side. And then we got the four. 
So the first thing you're going to do is set down the pack of cards over here, remove the card box, and take your three prediction cards. Obviously, they, this is actually five, but they think it's three. So you're going to pick up the jack and place it face up on top of the five cards you have. And you're going to show them the first jack and then see if your prediction's correct. So the way you're going to do that is snapping your fingers and then doing a move, what's called the Elmsley Count. Now this is a more advanced move. This is the setup you've got here. You were doing a six card Elmsley Count, which is a little bit more, a little bit harder. But the way this is going to go down is you're going to push off, pull off the first card, push off a block of four here, and then pull back the red card here. I'm not going to be going into detail as to how a Elmsley count works, but if you want to know how that works, you can go ahead and watch Jay's uh, tutorial. He has a very great tutorial on how the Elmsley count works. So now you're going to pull out this final jack and place it right on top. So in the setup here, you have is three fours and three jacks. The next thing you're going to do is pull off one, two, three cards, and in a biddle grip, you're going to be holding these three cards, which are the three jacks. They think it's one card. You're going to take this card and you're going to set it directly on top of the pack. You are now left with three fours. You're going to show them their final card, the four, their second uh, selection. And this down here is actually what they think is the jacks. So you have a four here and they think these are the three jacks. When you show them this card and you snap your fingers, all you got to do is the final reveal. And that is today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. This is a really amazing card trick and I will see you guys next video. Peace out.